Greetings. My name is Jyoti Kodandapani, trainer and consultant embedded wireless domain. You can reach me using kotappa at gmail.com. In this presentation, I am going to talk about location based services in Android. What is location? This is at any point on earth. It can be described using latitude, longitude and altitude. And there is one more coordinate system UTM. But Android uses latitude, longitude and altitude to describe a location. This is how we describe a location using latitude and longitude. This horizontal axis is longitude and vertical axis is latitude. Example. Chennai in India is 13 degree north. This is 13 degree and 80 degrees east. It is longitude. So it is somewhere here. So this is how we describe a location using UTM coordinates. Here the longitude is divided into 60 zones and the latitude that is this vertically it is divided into 20 zones so how does your mobile knows its location the one thing is using its built-in gps receiver that is it can compute its location using the gps signals the other way is within coordination with the network it can compute its location without using GPS receiver. So to support location based services in a existing GSM cellular network, we need this LMU location measurement unit SMLC serving mobile location center GMLC gateway mobile location center. These three components added in the existing network to support the location based services. These components can be a physically distinct entity or it can be part of the existing network component itself. Example, this location measurement unit LMU can be part of the BTS itself. So this is the location based service architecture in Utron. This I took it from 3G specification. So here you see the location measurement unit. Here gateway mobile location center GMLC. So in Android there are two types of location records. One is single location records. Other is periodic location records. Single location records. Uh, that is when you initiate a location record. Location update will come only once. Periodic location records here. Um, uh, you, the uh, mobile will uh, update the location periodically. So these are the parameters you need to pass while requesting a location update in Android framework. What is provider? Provider as I already told you how a mobile will compute its location. That is the provider can be a GPS. If you specify a GPS provider the mobile will compute its location using the built-in GPS receiver or using the GPS assistant data. Network provider, if you specify network provider, mobile will in coordination with the network will compute its location. That is based on the signal transmission from mobile to the network. Passive provider, when you choose a passive provider, Mobile will not do any new location request. It will, if uh, there is some other application or service inside the mobile which initiates a location request and a location update is coming, then that time it will inform you about the location change. Listener callback. This is the callback function. Callback uh, will be invoked whenever there is a location change. Criteria. While requesting a location update, 
you can mention the criteria this criteria includes your accuracy of the location and how much power it can it should consume so if we specify the accuracy as 10 meters and uh, the mobile accuracy as 10 meter the mobile will choose gps provider because that is highest accuracy if you specify accuracy as uh, 100 meters more than 100 meter it will choose the network provider see here accuracy low 500 meters accuracy 100 meters accuracy medium 100 to 500 meters accuracy fine this is gps that is 10 meter accuracy course accuracy that is a, it is a network it will use a wireless network to compute its location So the looper that is the looper object uh, whose message you will be used to implement the callback mechanism pending indent suppose uh, you request a location update and uh, you implemented a broadcast receiver to receive the location change then you pass the pending indent so while it uh, uh, sends this location update then in the by extra value there will be a key location changed minimum time that is you can specify the time difference between the two update that is the minimum time it should not send the update within this minimum time suppose you specify a minimum time 5 minutes so that uh, one update comes at time uh, t then the next update will come only after t plus 5 minutes it will not come within that 5 minutes minimum distance so the distance that is you can specify i want location update only if my mobile uh, goes the beyond some distance suppose you are a distance 10 meters and uh, you specify minimum distance as 10 meters then only after 20 meters you will get the another location update the distance between two objects should be minimum 10 meter like that you can specify minimum distance so these are the methods uh, you use to request the location update in android framework here you are requesting a single update so here in this you are specifying the provider provider value that is you, are, you should use gps provider or network provider passive provider so in this here you are not specifying any provider you are just mentioning the criteria so based on your criteria that android framework will choose the provider suppose your criteria accuracy is 10 meter or less than 10 meter then it, it will choose gps provider so here uh, instead of your location listener here you are using a pending intent that is a broadcast receiver to receive the location update here in these two cases you are using broadcast receiver here these two you are using location listener listener callback so the, here is a periodic request so you should specify what is the minimum time between the two updates and the minimum distance the other parameters are same as a single location request there are other uh, methods available you can use just uh, see the remove location update you can stop the location update you can enable more mock location that means you can uh, fool actually your location that is if you are in uh, chennai india you can program your android mobile as uh, new york usa your location as new york usa so whenever somebody requests the location it will send your location as a new york usa but actually you are in chennai india so you can get the list of supported provider whether your mobile support gps provider network provider kasi providers you can also get your last known location you can program your mobile to alert you whenever you are close to your some favorite uh, place that is get proximity alert so these are the two apps i put in uh, google play which uses uh, gps provider as a network provider this mio link trial is a uh, free uh, application mio links is a paid application so if you have android mobile you can uh, install it and check see here i made a demo program so here i am making a request to the android framework for the location updates so uh, periodic location request 
so here i am passing the provider as a gps provider so i am telling android framework to use gps provider minimum time between two updates should be 60000 milliseconds so is 60 seconds minimum distance between the two updates should be 10 meters i am just specifying it and whenever there is a location change it will call back this uh, listener so this listener is instant of my location listener in my location listener as soon as i get a location update i am just reading the latitude longitude and displaying on the google map so now here in the emulator i installed this uh, app so i am going to open this app so now i am going to send a location change from here so i am going to put uh, latitude as 080.24 uh, so longitude 13.06 as a latitude this is corresponds to chennai india i am going to send this so here you see it displays chennai india